course not. Especially now, as your Aunt Pearl knows about you and me. It'd be really awkward. I mean, you're not wrong there. So, what are you going to do? I mean, what are you going to say? I haven't really thought about it. Well, are you thinking about leaving China? Oh, I don't know. Right. Well, maybe this is fate trying to tell you something. I mean, you did always say you were going to move on. Yeah. Well, maybe this is the perfect time. Yes, no, mate, I've got to get going now, so I'll see you later. See ya, bye. Is there any news? Don't worry, they'll let you know. Pete, Pete, this is the friend I mentioned to you. Pleased to meet you. All right. Claire tells us you're thinking of using functions for some events you're planning. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What kind of thing did you have in mind? Well, it's all still very much in the planning stage at the moment. I mean, you know how these things are. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm Patrick, by the way. I'm right. sorry, I should have introduced you. Patrick's a, a colleague of mine. He's also, coincidentally, another satisfied functions client. Yeah, very satisfied. Well, it's good to know functions is so highly thought. You won't find another outfit that does uh, corporate hospitality better than this lot. We've been on the receiving end of what they do, and I can tell you it's uh, pretty impressive. Well, I thought it might be useful for Pete to sit in on our meeting if neither of you have any objections. It's fine by me. The more the merrier. Listen, why don't we go through to the back room? It's uh, a bit quieter than the bar. Pete, great. Not now, Diane, I'm busy. Huh? This is important. Though. Yeah, well, I'll deal with it later, all right? Finished? Nearly. So where do you fancy going in? What do you mean? Well, we've got to celebrate. Oh, well, I'm hardly in the mood for going out drinking, am I? Why? What's wrong? It, everything's OK, isn't it? Exactly. Which is why all I want to do is curl up on the sofa with a hot water bottle and a couple of painkillers. Oh. Well, we could get a video from Pearls, have a quiet night in, just the two of us. Mm. I thought we could go out and have some fun. I mean, the last few days haven't exactly been a barrel of laughs. Fine. If that's what you want to do, you do it. I'm going home. Excuse me. Sadie, could you get um, Brian and Patrick whatever they want on the house, yeah? Yes. Excuse me, darling. All right. Persuaded, mate. So how much your functions do you want? 25%. The rest is Roy's. So what's the offer? 5% of my 25. Oh, no, Claire, not even close. She won me 20 grand. You've seen the figures. If things keep going the way they do, then that 5% is going to be worth a lot more than 20,000. Well, I have to admit, it does look good. All right, you got a deal. It's one condition. And what's that? Roy mustn't know about this. Well, don't worry about it. I've got no intention of telling him anything. Pete, I've got to talk to you. Yeah, all right. We'll talk about this later, OK? Yeah. What is it? Someone phoned earlier. And? I didn't recognise his voice, so he said to tell you to watch your back. He said he was going to make you pay for what you'd done. Right, well, thanks for passing out. Well, aren't you going to do something? Like what? I don't know, like report it to the police. Well, there's no point. It's probably kids just mucking about. It didn't sound like kids. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Now, if it is kids, they will get bored. What if it isn't? Well, then I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Hello. Uh, welcome back. Everything went fine. Friends, did you have a good time? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was fun. Um, listen, I'm a bit tired. I want to go home. Cat. What? Are you free tomorrow night? Oh, don't worry. It's just a thought. No, I, I am free. Oh, great. Um, do you fancy me? No. I'd love to. I'll see you then, then. Yeah, see you then. Sorry I'm late. I couldn't get a taxi. What are you doing here? Shh. I've just got him off to sleep. Well, where's the babysitter? I paid her off and I put her in a taxi. Why? Because I wanted to talk to you, Karen. And I don't think you want anyone else to hear what I've got to say. Well, what are you on about? Where have you been? Out. Out? Where? <laughs> what of your business? Well, I think it is. You see, today I was chatting to a couple of players' clients. Brian and Patrick. Those names ring a bell. Should they? 
Well, he certainly seems to remember you. Oh, Functions has a lot of clients. I can't remember all of them. Yeah, well, think hard. Oh, look, it's late and I'm tired. I haven't got time to play stupid games, so why don't you just go home? So how long has this been going on? How long has what been going on? I don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar as well as a tramp. How dare you? I've had enough of this. Now get out. No, I'm not going anywhere until you've answered my questions. I've always known you were easy, Cat, but until today, I never had you down as a whore. What did you say? Well, it's true, isn't it? You've been hurrying yourself out to anyone who'll pay for you. Oh, hello, boys. Do you mind if I join you? It's only what I haven't seen you all day. Where you been? Mm. In bed. Mm. Asleep. All right for some. Oh, hey, I didn't finish work till six o'clock this morning. But now that I've caught up, I am in the mood to party. Mm. What can I get you? Um, vodka tonic, please. Uh, this is on me. Are you sure? Absolutely, I'm celebrating. Can we ask what? Let's just say I had a lucky escape. Play Black Swan. Oh, hang on a minute. Diane. Yeah? Phone for you. Oh, Kelly, can you? Hi, Jeffs. Hello. It's just slow down, I can't understand what you're saying. I can't just stop off. OK, OK, just calm down and I'll be with you as soon as I can. Is everything all right? I'm not sure. That was Mum. She's in a state about something, but she won't tell me what over the phone. I said I'd go around there now. I can't... She shouldn't be really leaving you in the lurch when it's busy. Oh, nonsense. You go and make sure she's all right. We'll manage. Thank you, Sadie. <laughs> What are you saying this? How, how dare you accuse me of a... Prostitution. Is that the word you're looking for, Ken? Oh, that's enough now. Get out. So you're saying it's not true, then? Of course it isn't. What do you take me for? That bloke Patrick practically spelled it out to me. So you're saying he's lying? I'm saying that you're jumping to conclusions. What exactly did he say? Well, he said that if you want extras, make sure you ask for cats. He said that functions was expensive, but she was worth every penny. <laughs> and you took that to mean that I was sleeping with people for money? Well, what else could it mean? Exactly what he said! I always tell the clients that they're going to get a five-star service with extras. It makes them feel looked after. And yes, I am worth every penny that care pays me. I'm a damn good waitress. So you're saying this is just a figment of my overactive imagination, yeah? Yes, unless, of course, you've got proof. What if I had that care? I'd be straight down that family course suing you for custody of David. <laughs> so that's what's behind all this, is it? You're so desperate to believe the worst of me that you're prepared to let your imagination run right over a casual comment made to you by a complete stranger. I didn't think even you would stoop this low. I know why I heard. You heard what you wanted to hear, and if you didn't have such a suspicious, twisted mind, you'd realise that. Well, I wonder, Cat. Is it just my sick imagination, or would other people be just as suspicious? What do you mean? Well, Jim Webb, for example. You've been spending a lot of time with him lately. I know he thinks a lot of you. He'd be the first person to defend you if he thought the accusations were false, that is. So how about I go around there, have a little chat with him about all this? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Try out wine, please. OK. Oh, by the way, someone from back home called for you. Yeah? Yeah, um, Lisa something or other. Lisa Wilkes? Yeah, that's it. Oh, how nice. Just think, even though you're gone, you're not forgotten. Is she a very good friend? Um, I knew her back in Sydney. I haven't spoken to her for a while. And I thought we'd lost contact. Well, I told her that you were at work, and she said that she'd call back to some other town. Great. Bad luck, mate. But there were some red faces over breakfast in the morning. Well, there wasn't much conversation, that's for sure. <laughs> Mind you, lucky it was Yasmin sneaking out of your room, not the other way around. And that would have been really embarrassing, eh, Tanya? Sorry? There you go. Thanks. Those three look like they're in for a big night. Yeah. I'll see you in a minute. OK. Well, I think Paul might be celebrating. Really? What? He and Gemma had a pregnancy scare this week. We just found out that everything's OK. Oh, so that's what it was all about. Mm. Yes, he was in here earlier looking very down in the dumps, but you wouldn't say what was bothering him. No, I think they're both relieved that it was a false alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought Gemma would have had more sense. Matt. I wasn't expecting you back yet. Uh, Karen's sleeping, so I thought I'd have a change of scene. It feels like I've been staring at the same four walls for about a week. How's she doing? Uh, it's still early days, but the doctors seem pretty happy with the way it went. Can I get you something to eat? You must be starving. 
What I really want is a drink. <laughs> 